Hello everyone, I'd like to introduce you to uh, my latest project that I'm doing with my son. Um, it is a do-it-yourself laser harp. It's uh, going to end up costing approximately, uh, oh, I'd say about 60 bucks when it's all said and done. There's nine lasers and um, nine photo resistors down here in the bottom as receivers up top are the lasers um, it's a work in progress but uh, I've got the logic done um, I've still got to mount the chips on that perf board there I made a perf board uh, that's going to mount on a Arduino um, it's all breadboarded up and it seems to be working uh, to a degree. don't have software written for it. That's my son's job. All, all I did was the circuit and all the cutting and measuring and whatnot. Uh, this will this still need some work. I get the cables running out the bottom leg right now. I intend on putting a, a disconnect you know, a connector there in, in the leg someplace. I'm not sure where I'm going to do that yet. And we're going to paint this black. Um, but I thought I'd demonstrate. It's only it's running on three triple A's right now, um, and the logic is pretty simple. It's just uh, an eight input NOR gate and uh, a quad uh, two input NOR gate. I'll, I'll be publishing everything, uh, presuming this works in the end. Uh, right now, all this is working, but uh, I'll just I'll just demonstrate how this is working. I'll connect it up there. Let's see. Hopefully, you guys can see. I believe you'll be able to see that those are all glowing, so the lasers are firing from up top down to the bottom. That was pretty much the toughest part, uh, is trying to get that all lined up. Um, really was because uh, you know you're you're say off a millimeter here that translates to about a quarter inch by the time it's done down here uh, so yeah things aren't exactly lined up I had to play around with the positioning of the um, photoresistors um, they're not all like perfectly aligned and I had to make these holes a little bit bigger than what I intended so that I could move the photoresistors within the hole but hopefully this will come out if I cover up one of those I get a high and that will be an interrupt what you're seeing is an interrupt signal so I can oops, get a low So, if any one of those is uh, interrupted, you get a high output. Um, and then each one of these uh, will tie directly into a, a data input port on the Arduino. So we'll have an interrupt, and when the interrupt uh, occurs, it'll read in all nine bits, and then we can uh, play whatever tone or or uh, recorded uh, output that we want and uh, really that's not my job that's my son's job he's a musician I, I, I'd be lucky if I could play chopsticks uh, on this so um, but that's about it it's pretty simple and it's gonna be pretty cheap relatively cheap about uh, like I said, about 50, 60 bucks, something like that. If you had to buy every bit of material, um, I mean, the PVC alone is about 15 bucks. Um, you know, uh, like six elbows, two T's, and uh, I think I bought a 10 foot uh, piece. This is an inch and a quarter, I believe. Um, so, you know, you got 15 bucks right there, and some scrap wood that's inside here that fits perfectly square within the um, PVC pipe 
on and that uh, this times two. We got one up top which I drilled holes for the lasers and uh, well of course the circuitry and the Arduino um, so yeah it's relatively cheap but uh, anyhow this is part one as soon as we get uh, some sounds coming out of the thing I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, make another video and publish a schematic and all that but there's there's the perf board it plugs in got pins on there and I don't know if I'm going to use this connector or not to disconnect the Arduino from the uh, actual hardware here so oh, that's all I got for now Hopefully we get this running, we'll publish part two and uh, all of these schematics and, and the code and make it open source. So thanks for watching.